Alright everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy 2. Uh, where we last left off was... I believe we needed to figure out where the fuck to go, but we were talking to everybody and showing them the ring that the... Hilda's dead husband gave us. So... I also just wanted to quickly show people how I grinded up uh, in the starting area. There's a lot easier way later that's a lot less time consuming, but it costs a lot of money. But for the starting area, when you don't have that spell, uh, this is probably the best way to do it. I haven't found any other ways, so... I level up the basic magic spells that I got by using them on the owner of the spell, obviously. Because the more times you use that spell, the that's how it levels up. That's basically how its experience curves, so... Usually the enemies don't run, but if they do, at least you're getting experience on your... on your spells. Obviously another way you can do it is just attacking yourself, it does a lot more damage, but... Then you don't get your... your MP to go up as well, right? So... You wanna you wanna try and use a, as much MP as possible before the enemies run away, and take away as much HP away as possible. Alright, so Maria's getting pretty close to, uh, to where she needs to be, health-wise. MP-wise, not so much. I'm not going to show you the full extent of this, because, uh, normally what I would do to get the MP to go up faster is once they get to critical HP, I would heal everybody, and then repeat, and then heal, and then repeat in order to get rid of all of the magic, but I'm not going to do that because that takes fucking forever, and nobody's going to want to watch that happen, so. Okay, so as you can see, Maria's down to red HP, which means most likely by the end of this fight, uh, if she doesn't die, her HP will go up when it's over. So now Maria's just going to focus on somebody else and hurt that person, until their HP is critical, and in the red. Obviously if you have, uh, <clears throat> obviously if you have lower level characters, this probably isn't the smartest thing to be doing, and you should do one person at a time. So say, Furon has 30 HP at the start. Say you get Maria to hit him once to take away some of his HP, and then you kill the enemies. Until Furon has, like, say a comfortable amount, like 100 HP, I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk putting every party member into critical, because the enemies will kill you eventually. You get very unlucky. So, it's probably best if you just do this over and over and over. And since Furon's in red, but he still has five or he still has 100 HP, and he can take another hit, I'm gonna hit him again anyway. Because the more HP you lose, the better. And then we'll just focus on Gus. So now Furon should be pretty much good. I could probably hit him one more time. And then I'll hit Gus one more time too. And a uh, cool thing about my version of the game, for some reason, if I go to the church to revive somebody, uh, of course he ran away. So Gus didn't get to go to his full extent. But Fearon's HP increases, and his endurance. Maria's HP, and magic. And then Gus's HP, and MP. So that's what I've been doing off-screen for a little bit. And uh, obviously it takes quite a bit of quite a bit of time if you do it to the full extent 
But now, we're almost in the thousands for HP, so... Or at least, Fearon is. I'm not gonna go back to the town and, and rest the inn, just because I'm at a pretty comfortable spot. Obviously, where I am, I don't think I have to worry about the enemies hurting me too much. And also, I have to switch Fearon's equipment, because he's using shields. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen if I got Fearon's shields up to its max. Just as, like, to see if he would block more on bosses and stuff later on. I don't know. I was just screwing around, so. But yeah, apparently if I try and rest at a church, uh, the game glitches and freezes, and I have to actually turn the console off and turn it back on, which really sucks. Because there's nothing that sucks more than a game freezing if you haven't saved. Because then you have to do all that work again. So I actually had to grind up 5,000 gil and go to a store and buy a fucking phoenix down to revive Maria because she died. So I don't know if that's just my version or it's the fact that I'm playing it on the PS3 or whatever the problem is. But it doesn't work properly. And we gotta, we gotta try and figure out where to go now. It's probably within this town. This is the village of Gadaria. Finn is across the lake, see? Awesome. The gates of Castle Finn have been locked by the Imperial Army, occupying it. We can't go in there. The town has changed too. Now you'll only see Imperial soldiers and monsters there. Very good to know. I was already there, so... There's a pub at the outskirts of Finn, where the Emperor invade. The owner didn't make it out in time. Now has to serve Imperial soldiers all day long. You also already know that. The Imperial Army hasn't come as far as Altair and uh, Gadaria yet. But once the construction of the Dreadnought is finished. Okay. So, what do I do in this? Where the fuck do I need to go? We're supposed to be finding Mithril. Where do I find Mithril? Nobody in here? Cool. But yeah, I'm supposed to be looking for Mithril for the rebel army shit, I think. But I don't remember where to get that at all. We only really have these three towns to visit, though, and we already checked out Finn. So we might as well go- or, I mean, we already checked out Altair, so we might as well go up to Finn and see if we can't find any other people there that will talk to us, or at least try and go in the gates of the castle. I don't see why not. I think that would be a pretty good idea. Also, yesterday, since it was the day before April Fools, I got trolled pretty hard. Uh, I knew that it wasn't real when I was getting trolled, but I didn't think it was a troll, I just thought it was a big glitch, or they got hacked or something, but uh, every so often I'll go on Social Blade just to see how many views I got on one day or whatever, because you'd have to do mental math to kind of figure that out on YouTube because they don't exactly keep the best track in the anesthetics or whatever. So, I usually use Social Blade to find out how many views I get a day. And, uh, when I looked on it, it said I had, like, over 4 billion something views for one day, and I earned, like, 7 Energizer batteries or some shit. And, uh, it had an apply for retirement button. And I was like, okay, cool, so Social Blade's glitched out beyond belief. And then I was like, okay, so it's not glitched, it's actually working and shit. But then I thought it got hacked, because there's no way that it would actually be like that. And uh, no, they didn't get hacked, it was just an April Fool's joke. So, it was pretty awesome. I was like, wow. It's 
pretty mean April Fool April Fool's joke if somebody actually thought that that was real, because they'd be like, oh, it's sick. Best day ever, but no. Not even. And also YouTube's doing their normal trolling thing. This this was gonna be up way after they do it, but everybody should know that on April Fools, YouTube's gonna do something random to troll people. And this time, they decided to make a video saying that they're gonna delete every video on YouTube because they had a good run and the contest is over and they're gonna pick the winner and blah 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 blah. So best video gets like some fucking clippable MP3 player or some shit that can clip on your clothes. And uh, at midnight today, all the videos will be washed off of YouTube. But obviously because I'm recording this, I'm not worried about it because I know that it's a troll and it's just gonna be a haha -ha April Fools thing. Because it's always April through April Fools shit that happens. It was a good one though. It had me going for a good little bit, and I started thinking about it. I was like, no, no. All right, well we can't go in there. Where the fuck do we need to go? I checked all three towns. I think. I guess let's go back to Altair. Let's go see what's crack lacking in Altair. I also have, like, no money, because, um, the way that I leveled up, it costs quite a bit, because after you're drained of your HP and MP, uh, I heal myself back up so it costs a little bit less, but the inn is based on how much it has to replenish, and since you don't get much for the area, and I only really stay in one or two fights before I go to the inn, it costs, like, 300 gil, and I only have, like, 92 every time I try and do it, so I have to go kill a whole bunch of monsters just to get into the inn to sleep and then do it again. That kind of sucked. So really, if you're going to do this, you should probably do it later on in the game with that spell that I was talking about. Where you get a little bit more money and stuff, just to make it a lot less stressful that way. Because it does take quite a bit of time. I think we need to try and get a canoe. Something tells me that we need a canoe to get to somewhere that I want to go. Or at least to the next part of the game. And then that's how we get mithril and stuff. I think. I don't know. We'll find out. Go talk to people and see what happens. I don't really know how far I can get with the amount of HP and MP that my guys have. Like, I could probably go for a pretty long time before I have to uh, stop and grind again. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if I either just get bored of recording and want to stop and grind up a little bit, or if I actually hit the wall and can't go any farther without grinding. We'll see which comes first. <laughs> 